Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will see how we can upload a document in document library without any workflow and we can create also update a custom metadata against a document file. Okay, so here if you will see I created a document library and uh, here you can see this document type column I created custom. Okay, so in that value is uh, like document type JPG, PDF, doc and zip. Okay, so suppose I will delete all the documents and here is the application and I want to attach a file from here. Suppose going to attach this file and going to choose PDF and click on upload. So now, yeah, document uploaded successfully. So once you will refresh this page, you can see the file has been updated and against that a column document type that is custom column as PDF has been updated directly. Okay, so how we'll do that? To do that, let me back to my upload button. So in this upload button, first of all, I'll let you know that this attachment control, you will not find anywhere in this insert option. Okay, we don't have any such kind of control here. If we'll try to search it, you will not find it out. How we'll do that? First, we'll have to create a connector with a SharePoint list. So issue tracker is my SharePoint list that is created in my tenant uh, tips by anil hyphen team sites. Okay, now this issue tracker list i created a screen to and in the screen to i created a form let me create a form for you so this is screen to and here i will insert a form that edit form and now here i have a data source for issue track issue tracker i'll choose issue tracker here once this issue tracker will uh connected with this form, you will see the attachment control. Just copy this attachment control and paste wherever you want. Okay, so suppose I will paste here. Now this control has been pasted over here. Now we are getting few errors. These errors will have to remove. Okay. Remove all the code that's giving you the errors. All right, now this control is ready for the use. So this is the same control we are using. Okay, this is our first step. And the second step here, I created a dropdown. And in this dropdown, if you will see here, I attach like I created a table. And in this table, I choose PDF, JPG and doc. Okay, so these three value I can see in the dropdown list. All right. Now in the upload, in the upload, if I expand it, so here you will see for all we created a loop because in the attachment control user can choose multiples attachment. Okay, so attachment control name is attach control. See here. Okay, and dot attachments and we have a another connector office 365 groups dot http request and this url or the concept behind this url we will just discuss in this video okay and after that this is the method this is the loop that is going to insert the document in document library directly okay and here we are refreshing the document library upload doc the same document library and after that we are trying to get the last record okay the last id of this document library and on the last id we are using the patch function okay so here we are updating a document type custom column and we are providing a drop down value selected dot type okay so the concept is because in the document library the 
concept is first you'll have to upload a document first here you will see the file and after that only you can update your custom uh, metadata okay you don't have any such kind of uh, uh, like uh, options like a sim uh, similar like a sharepoint list that uh, if you are creating a item against the item directly at the same time you can create a attachment as well but in the document library attachment is first and after that custom metadata okay so this data name modified and modified by this is the default data that created with the uh, document but the custom metadata we are updating once the document will be inserted okay and now this url how we are we are creating this url so we'll have to go on the graph explorer just type in the google graph explorer so this is microsoft graph explorer you will get this url and after that just click on run query and here I have logged in already. If you are not logged in, you just can uh, log in here. And here you will get all the data. My display name, okay, given name. All the information, whatever you are you having in your tenant. Now, sometime, uh, that's, a, uh, th that's point I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, here, first we will discuss that this graph uh, API. So in this graph API, you can see HTTP request to upload a new file. So you can see put sites, site ID, drives, item, parent ID, file name and content. Okay. So first we'll have to find out the site ID, then parent ID means the ID of the uh, ID of the document library. Okay. So to find out the site ID, what I will do here, just type the site. So we having this graph explorer, okay, the same graph explorer. So suppose if I'll type here site, then go in the SharePoint site section. And here you can see get SharePoint site related path URL. Okay, host name server related path. Now here I will provide my host name. This host name, okay. Let me put this host name. Just remove this HTTPS. Okay. Now remove this uh, as well. And here we having server related path. So what is the server related path? So that is slash sites and my server related path. Okay. Now, once you will click on run query, you will get this data, but sometime you will not, you will not get data. You will get some uh, kind of errors and to resolve that error, just click here and click on consent to permissions. And here, uh, you'll have to provide few permissions like on API connectors and here you will have to just, uh, read or write permissions. So whatever, uh, whatever things you are using that kind of permissions you'll have to provide here. So here for the files, I provided the read, read all selected and read, write. Okay. So these permissions you have to, you will have to provide here for this user. Now we got this data. Okay. We got this site ID. So this is my site ID. Now see here the first step site uh, get site id so this is the url for the site id okay now we got the site id this is my site id okay so let me put this site id here and now get doc lib id okay how we'll get the doc lib id so let me here you can see my organization default enumerate the document library under the root site Okay, so instead of root, we will paste our site ID. Click on run query. Here you will get all the document library that we having on this uh, uh, tenant. Okay, now if you will see upload doc, this document library we having now this ID, I need to copy. Okay, and I will go and I will paste here. Okay, this is our second step. 
Now go to doc live root. For doc live root, what I will do, you can see here, we having this URL drives. Okay. And after that, I put it my ID here, my document lab, uh, library ID here. Okay. Document library ID and slash root. Click on run query. Now we are in the root. Finally, what I will do, see here, we having file name and content. Okay. So that file name and content, I will add here. Okay. So this is our complete URL. You can see file name and content. If you want, see, you can see the same URL. Okay, file name and content. So file name, we are providing dynamic, this record dot name. So this record is basically picking the data from this attachment control dot attach. Okay, this record dot name and this record dot value. And same URL, if you will see here, you want to match the URL, I will copy and paste. Look, this URL is same and the URL that we are using here see url same just we are doing this record dot name and contained and after that one more thing we this is the put request see here okay this is the put request so we have created this put request and we are creating in for each loop for all loop Okay, so this is the concept behind this. Now, once the document will be uploaded, then instantly we are refreshing this document library and we are getting the last record from this document library. On that last record, we are applying a patch function here to update that document metadata, that custom metadata. Okay, so now if I will run, run this, see, click on up, uh, attach file and click on upload. Once you will click on upload, first this document will be upload. Then it will take the last ID of the uh, record. Then instantly it will update this document type. So this is all we have discussed in this video, like uh, without any workflow, how we can upload a document in the document library and against how we can update custom metadata. Okay. So in this video, I created only one column. If you want, you can create multiple column. You can add column here and you can add controls here and you can apply the patch function. So in my patch function here, if you will see, I use only the single column like here. But if you want, you can just copy and provide a semicolon, sorry, a comma and provide the value here. So here you can provide the column name and here you can, can provide the control name on which you are storing the value. Okay. So I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.